Prodigy's hothouse flowers. Yes, I wasn't aware Jesus was coming back as Van Morrison. <laughs> That's not very nice, Mark. <clears throat> well, the 1989 Reinick Rock Award is up for grabs once more. Mark has the lowdown. Tonight, we're pleased to announce the opening of the 1989 Reinick Rock Award. The decision by Reinick to resurrect the award after the media-driven controversy that surrounded the 1987 decision is a positive one that will this year benefit an even bigger section of the local music industry. No other award offers as much support or exposure as previous winners Ardijar and the Headless Chickens have found out. Winners of the inaugural award in 1986, Adijar produced their debut self-titled album and then embarked on a nationwide tour. With a few additions, the album was recently repackaged for the Australian market as Take a Chance. In 1987 winners, The Headless Chickens, sparked an undeserved amount of negative publicity over their award, though the Stunt Clown album and its various singles have become student radio favourites. With the past winners having such different styles, what is the Reinick Advisory Panel looking for? Well, this time around we'll be looking for um, a band who has act the actual ability to fill an album, which isn't an easy task, but also making sure that ma their material is original and no covers of any sort. A band that's a little different from every other band and a band that's got uh, international potential to be a big hit maybe. Uh, Michael Jackson from Gore, R.E.M. from Bulls. Uh, good songs, good tunes, good relations, good enough to stay together like the last two bands. The main question now of course is how do you enter? Entry is open tomorrow but you'll need an official entry form which you can get by writing to Reinick Rock Award, P.O. Box 2401 Auckland, or by phoning Auckland 274 2738. You've got till June 2nd to get them back. This year there are three awards, a main prize of $40,000 towards recording an album, as well as two further prizes of $10,000 to record EPs, so there's plenty of scope for everybody. Then, on July 9, CV will broadcast the winning bands live from the Power Station nightclub in Auckland. We'll follow them through their recording projects to the end results. It should be an interesting year.